What up YouTube? You know who it is. It's your boy Mims and I'm coming at you guys with my very first NCAA football 13 Road to Glory game. And I know what you guys must be thinking. Mims, you created a wide receiver. What happened to that? Well, I played a game with said wide receiver and my quarterback, actually I played more than one game. I played like three games. And every single one of those games had a quarterback that would either chuck it to me or he'd throw terrible interceptions. So I decided I didn't want to be exactly how I was last year. But, and I really wanted to play an offensive position. And I wanted to control everything that was happening on the field. And that's what the quarterback does. That way, if I screw up, it's on me. You know, if I make a mistake, if I do something good, it's all on me. You know, I'm leading this team. So that's what my logic was, and I guess that's how uh, that's who I'm gonna create this year. So far, I'm really enjoying the quarterback position, and I actually did not play any more games, but this one I just finished this game, came into the laboratory, and just went to work editing these videos. So hopefully, y'all enjoy. But here's a question for you guys: I want to do a road to uh, what's it called a Heisman challenge mode, and I wanted to be. Uh, I just want you guys to choose who I should be. I don't know if I should be a quarterback because I'm a quarterback right now. And I did pre-order this game as well. So I have the bonuses. I will have Tim Tebow, Matt Leinart, and Mark Ingram as well. So if you guys like those guys, it's someone you could choose. But I'm thinking I would do Barry Sanders, but it seems like somebody that everyone would do. Normally, I'd love to do Carson Palmer, but you know I already have a quarterback. So the ch it's really up in the air. Whoever you guys want to see me do it with, I'm down to do it with that guy. And I will be pl using them on their original team because otherwise it just doesn't look right. It looks weird, you know. Like, personally, I, I wouldn't like it so much. But if you look at, uh, so just write in the comment section, you know, thumbs up this video, guys, so I could get it out to a larger audience. There's a lot of people that don't know that NCAA Football 13 is out that want to see this type of footage. And uh, what I want to say is I'm also doing an online dynasty soon. So make sure to follow me on Twitter because I usually announce my stuff over there. And look at this fail. I tried doing a dance move, like dancing all over the other team. And it just completely failed. The difficulty I'm playing on, by the way, is all American. And it just seems way, way too ridiculously easy. Like, I, may, I don't know, maybe I got a hang of this game from playing the demo so much, or I have no idea. Maybe it's my Madden ranked matches. But for me, like, I, uh, if you look at my stats already, at the, by the end of the second quarter, it kind of looks kind of ridiculous, and I don't feel like starting over. Hopefully the level of competition gets harder when I go to college. And for the type of colleges I'm looking at, I'm looking at those smaller colleges. You know, you saw me pick UCLA. I want those type of colleges. And, like, look at this. I just threw it into coverage. Somebody had to deflect that. But I guess it's because I'm in high school. Because I remember last year, it was much easier for me to run um, in high school than it was in college. So we'll see how that works out. Um, personally... Another thing I want to talk about is I want to know does the, does this have the import export feature? Like I know you can't import or export your actual draft class into Madden, but what about your player? Could you export that person into um, connected careers or whatever it's called? It would be cool. Uh, hopefully you can, but I'm just curious. And look at this fail right over here. You have to pick up your blocker, man. Look at Brandon James just shaking it off like nothing happened to him. That's how we do it. So, personally, what I think about this game so far is it is kind of fun. I really am liking it. Uh, there's a lot of things to do. The whole I didn't even touch Dynasty yet. I was straight up on Road to Glory for the past two hours, and I'm liking it a lot so far. I think our I think my jerseys are kind of funky. I messed up on those, but <laughs> besides that, besides that, you know, you know, Brandon James looking all swagged out and sexy in his purple and gold. Like not Laker purple and gold, but in general. But I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna be on this tonight. You know, getting you guys some more gameplay footage. And when the dra uh, when the rosters come out, you could definitely expect me to make an online dynasty and hopefully include some of my subscribers. It would it's gonna be a lot of fun, guys. And, and we're on the road to the new games, the upcoming games coming out. And it starts with NCAA 
it continues with Madden 13 then it finally goes to 2k and Call of Duty you know the main games that we all want but as of now I'm just focused on NCAA finishing my 2k my player and we're in for we're in for a treat this is gonna be a ton of fun another thing I noticed is that games took a little bit longer if you look at this compared to well actually not ridiculously longer just a tad bit longer maybe a minute or two I had to shave off a, a minute off this gameplay and I throw a nice beautiful pass over there look at that Jeez, Brandon James is dominating the high school competition and look at that beautiful throwing motion he learned it from Joe Montana himself. Nah, I'm just messing. <laughs> but besides that, you know, this game is definitely a game you should want to pick up if you're a college football fan. I'm not even that big of a college football fan, and I'm enjoying it. If you guys like those deep, addictive career modes, and look at that terrible O-line. Come on, you got to be able to guard, uh, defend your boy Mims. What is that? So, like I was saying... If you guys like those addictive, ah, uh, ah, uh, Brandon James finally throws his in, uh, first career interception. But, sorry, I keep interrupting myself. If you like those deep, addictive career modes, this game has three of them. Literally has three addictive career modes. The main one is online dynasty or dynasty mode. I never even played online dynasty. I didn't play online leagues at all this year up until my 2K league. And, you know, there was a lot of complication with those. There was a lot of drafts and such. But I'm looking forward to trying this online dynasty. It seems like a lot of fun. Nothing is just handed to you. You know, you have to actually go out and work for what you want. You actually have to establish a program for yourself in order to get those recruits. And ooh, look at that. Get off me, son. Get off me, son. Oh, look at me dancing on him like my name is Michael Vick. BJ8, go to work, son. Let's go. I don't even know what I'm trying to pull off here. You know, like, I'm just trying to see if I could get a quick couple of points. 17 to 0 shutout. I like that D. If only the defense played like the offense in this game. And look at the uh, look at that that receiver kind of tried to rocket catch over there. Nice to see that you didn't get rid of it this year, EA. But <laughs> that's something they should kind of address. But I really like the catch animations. The catch animations are t uh, are really fun to watch. Really like. I think at one point in this video, I'm at the goal line. You're gonna see it somewhere here. I'm not sure if I passed it or not. But there's a guy who makes a catch and a defender that literally knocks the ball out of the guy's hands when it's over his head like it's an overhead grab it's in his hand and he's about to come down with it and the guy punches the ball out of his uh, hands it was ridiculous I was like I never seen this before and it, it actually looked and felt like someone punched the ball out of his hands so I think they really stepped it up graphically for this game there's I think like 30 different pass trajectories or something like that I think um, I really think they stepped it up. This game looks really great, and it's definitely go out and buy it for you Madden fans who want something to play with. In the meantime, you want a little bit of a Madden Junior right over here. Um, this is what you want to pick up, and the online dynasty, if you ask me, or regular dynasty for that matter, even that is addictive. Is probably as it uh, is probably more fun than Madden's franchise mode. This is the problem with EA, and the problem is that. One of their games always has that great career mode or great single player mode. And the other game, Madden, is mainly a mode for football fans because football fans are much more common. You know, like NFL fans, they are much more common. And look at this. I thought I had a perfect pass over here. I did not see the defender at all. This game is just, I can't wait to master this game. I, there's all these elements coming out of nowhere. This game is really fun so far, but like I was saying, Madden doesn't really have a set career mode. You don't get on Madden and say automatically, I'm playing franchise mode. You know, you try to start it and then it gets boring after a while. Their franchise mode has not been fun since Madden 04 or 05, and it kind of regressed since it switched consoles to the next generation consoles. So. I don't know Madden's deal. Hopefully this whole connected careers thing seems really cool. And look at that. That's the animation I'm talking about. 
that animation look at that I got so pissed off I started talking mess to our high school rivals and you know being from LA and all I never heard of this place ever Yola something like it's the weirdest high school name ever but it doesn't matter I get my touchdown over here you know Brandon James with that swag BJ8 so this is when it starts getting really funky our defense plays superb defense and they get us another possession over here like back into uh, gold like red zone territory ish so I'm like all right I have no problem you know just let me beef up my stats a bit more so I could get recruited by UCLA it's not like their standards are high anyways but <laughs> look at that I need to learn how to ab abort play action passes man hopefully I could learn that and that shouldn't be too hard you know it's a cool new feature I heard they also added shovel passes in this game there's just so much to check out and this game just came out and I'm focused on getting you guys footage but look at that I almost got a touchdown over there, and I don't understand this. This is just poor sportsmanship by my high school. Coach is like, all right, it's 4th and 10, you're going for it. It doesn't matter if you're up by the, uh, 17. And I don't know why I threw it off my back foot, but I, they, it looks like they changed the animation for that as well. It's more like a jump pass type of thing. You see over there? like Kind of like he's jumping, and then it's kind of cool. I like these new animations. So... You know, the whole audible looks different. A lot of things look different uh, in this game. And I, this is just terrible use of reaction time. I just like going in slow motion. I throw it over here and I get a touchdown. All right, another touchdown for Brandon James and Beverly High, which is not where I actually went. It's just they don't have my school in this game because it's a private high school. But for those California people, you might know what I'm talking about. So I make a mistake over here. I thought that. He'd be ready to catch the ball immediately. I guess I was wrong. So it's all good, you know. Next possession. I should get another touchdown soon. It's all it's only the third quarter, by the way, and look at the score. So I get I overthrow this this player, and that was kind of random. I don't even get to see my stats while I'm in high school. That's another thing that's annoying. So I'm just assuming that my quarterback is good at a few things, and I get another touchdown in traffic. So, all right, you know, we're doing pretty good. Coach doesn't want to sit me out yet. I guess he wants to wait till the third quarter's over. But I'm just assuming that my player is a decently good player, like maybe a 70 overall. So I get a nice little pass on a curl route over there. And uh, I'm just going with the flow. He could run, so I guess that's good. He's a balanced quarterback. So um, I'm assuming he has good speed. He has good everything. And they didn't run, make me run the option at all this game. And that's weird because when I uh, created a quarterback at the end last year, they made me only run the option. And look at that little razzle-dazzle, you know, running up to the near line of scrimmage and passing it out really quickly. So here they run a wide receiver screen. It's not as successful as the time I threw the touchdown. So it's, eh, it's whatever. You know, it looks like... Oh, wow, it's only 2nd and 12. Coach, it's the 4th quarter. You know, you don't have to run up the score. There's 5 minutes left. It's all good. I don't even understand what's the point of it. But I get a nice, beautiful pass. Beautiful. Look at the trajectory. Look at everything. Look at this replay. How do you leave a man wide open like that? I was just tearing this team up this game. And that's when Coach finally decided it was enough. And he's just going to send me out for the 4th quarter. The final score is 52-7. to and this is my first game with my new quarterback. Anyways, you guys, if you like this video, please thumbs it up. Be on the lookout for my online dynasty. And let me know who you guys want me to use for the Heisman Challenge. Check out NBA 2K memes and my Twitter and all of that stuff is in the description. Comment. You know, I love talking with y'all. It's your boy Mims, and I'm signing out. Peace.